It's Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kern McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. With many colleges on spring break already, we expect a slowdown in visits for this month. In fact, Lamar Community College canceled their visit this week. However, Pikes Peak will be back on April 11th to help seniors who applied and registered with them to select their classes. When college visits do start up again, the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota will visit on Thursday, April 12th. Later in April, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will visit on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the Dwight Field High School Auditorium. If you are even slightly interested or curious about academy life, they're bringing a full-blown presentation where you can learn about the academy itself, life as a cadet, and how to navigate through the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will also be available afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Seniors, if it's March, it must be time to pick up your Herf Jones graduation announcements. Herf Jones will be in the auditorium tomorrow to distribute your announcement orders. If you owe a balance on your order, please try to pay it off before Tuesday or bring your money to take care of that debt. You cannot pick up your order without full payment. Remember to bring a picture ID with you to pick up your Herf Jones orders. And finally for seniors, as the Counseling Center prepares for Senior Awards Night in May, they would like for you to bring in all college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and even award letters you have received. Even if you are not accepting them, if you have any questions, please see Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. And now, Let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back after weekend. We have five school days left before spring break. So today we're having cheeseburgers and tomorrow chicken quesadillas. Hope to see you then. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. Before we head over to the sports desk, our life skills students are inviting everyone to rock your socks this Wednesday, March 21st, to raise awareness about National Down Syndrome Day. Check out their message. Hi, right, my buddy. Because we're Christian Sharks for the Dan Burton Day. Here's what you need to do. This Wednesday, wear your craziest socks to school. At lunch, stop by the student cabinet table to have your socks photographed. Life school students will be selecting their top three favorite crazy sock photos and will award prizes to them. Winners will be announced at the end of the day on Wednesday, so remember to rock your socks. We'll be back after this Gladiator Sports update with fundraising information at Chick-fil-A and other events happening this week. But first, here's Moose Santos with some sporting news. Good morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, powder puff time is right around the corner and student cabinet needs players, cheerleaders, and coaches. If you would like to participate, see Ms. Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slips. Permission slips are due this Friday, March 23rd. Glads, the Warrior Games have been rescheduled to April 13th and student cabinet still has spots for some strong warriors for the games against Fountain Park Carson. See Ms. Melton in room 103 to sign up. Let's keep our winning streak going. Speaking of winning streaks, the forensics team returned from their state competition over the weekend. Here are the results. If you missed it, the baseball team was on the diamond this Saturday and their bats did all the talking as they stole the win from Pueblo Centennial. You can support the baseball team today at their Spirit Day fundraiser at the Chick-fil-A on the Parkway from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let them know you're with Whitefoot High School and a portion of all sales will be donated to the baseball team. You know you want to eat more chicken today. The varsity track team traveled to Pueblo on Saturday and clocked some respectable times and distances. We expect to hear more specific information about the team as the season heats up. Our Lady Glad soccer team traveled to Florence on Saturday, but were not able to kick their game into gear and took a loss. Our ultimate frisbee team had two matches on Saturday. Here are the results. Cast the news on Wednesday when we bring you more Ultimate Frisbee scheduled games this week. Finally, in swimming news, our men's swim and dive team has a meet today at 4 p.m. at Whitefield Park and Rec Center against the Pine Creek Eagles. These young men have been working really hard and would appreciate some cheering fans. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. If you're interested in becoming a Link Crew leader but missed the meeting last week, please see Ms. Murphy, Ms. Veroni, or Ms. Walker for applications information. The deadline to return your Link Crew application is Thursday, March 22nd. Juniors and seniors, the prom theme has been revealed, and this year it's Masquerade. The prom will be on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Ticket prices March 19th through the 21st are $45. Starting March 22nd, ticket prices go up to $50. Because they must have a headcount for dinner, you cannot 
buy tickets at the door. Make a note of these simple rules for wearing masks. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Mrs. Molyneux in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your mask in the ballroom area, but when you are in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. One last note about prom. Outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them to ensure your date can attend the prom is April 13th. That's all for our news today. I'm Karen McAfee. Remember, this is the last week of school before spring break. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.